Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Our Access to the Father, March 12th. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. John 16, verse 23. We are to pray in the name of Christ, our Mediator. Our petitions are of value only as they are offered in His name. He has bridged the gulf that sin has made. By his atoning sacrifice, he has bound to himself and his Father those who believe in him. His is the only name under heaven whereby we may be saved. We are not to be so overwhelmed with the thought of our sins and errors that we shall cease to pray. Some realize their great weakness and sin and become discouraged. Satan casts his dark shadow between them and the Lord Jesus, their atoning sacrifice. They say, It is useless for me to pray. My prayers are so mingled with evil thoughts that the Lord will not hear them. These suggestions are from Satan. In his humanity, Christ met and resisted this temptation, and he knows how to succor those who are thus tempted. In our behalf, he offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears. Hebrews 5 verse 7 Many, not understanding that their doubts come from Satan, become faint-hearted and are defeated in the conflict. Do not, because your thoughts are evil, cease to pray. If we could, in our own wisdom and strength, pray aright, we could also live aright and would need no atoning sacrifice. But imperfection is upon all humanity. Educate and train the mind that you may in simplicity tell the Lord what you need. As you offer your petitions to God, seeking for forgiveness for sin, a purer and holier atmosphere will surround your soul. The Lord desires us to improve in prayer and to offer our spiritual sacrifices with increased faith and power. He has given His own Son for your redemption. If by living faith, we accept him as our Savior, we are placed on vantage ground with God, for Christ stands before his Father, saying, Lay their sins on me. I will bear their guilt. They are my property. I have graven them upon the palms of my hands. In our behalf, he presents before his Father the marks of the crucifixion which he will bear throughout eternity. What an encouragement for us to pray more. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.